D and J. Welcome back. Today we're gonna work on our pigs. Last week we um, we made little tiny paper mache pigs. This is the big one. I'll show you what we were going for. And then we made all these little ones and some of the kids in the neighborhood helped us paint them, but they're not evenly painted. And um, some of them, the holes are obstructed. But So what we were going for was a tie-dyed look. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back and we're going to add um, touch-ups to the little pigs so we can get them finished up. So those are pretty good. Check these guys. This one just needs a little bit of touch-ups on the top. And this one on the bottom. That one looks pretty good. It's on the bottom. <laughs> Interesting. That one, I'm not sure. A little bit on the top. This one on the bottom needs to be done. And this one on the top. All right. And this one on the top. So we've got three of them here in these bottoms. I'm not sure what to do with this little guy. I think we're going to just leave him like that. Do a little touch ups around his mouth. And blend him in. We have blue, green, yellow, purple, red, and a metallic color. Let's see. This one. I think we should add a little bit of red. Purple. I'm going to put just a little bit of a wash over it to blend the colors together. Make sure you cover all the spots. If not, then once we put the clear coat on it, then um, the spots will actually come through and you'll be able to see them more, more clearly. And you really don't want that. You want a nice even coverage with the paint. Add some metallic to the bottom of this one so it runs together.
it's not exactly the same shade of metallic as what they put on the pig glass layer, but it'll blend it all nicely together. So now we sell these small banks for $5 a piece. Uh, the large ones, like the mama pig we had at the beginning of the episode, um, those are 20. And these pigs are made out of the paper mache. Um, the videos for it are also on our channel. And um, they're pretty sturdy little pigs. The big ones, if you layer them up enough, we, we call them indestructible. <laughs> it's looking pretty spiffy. Hi, Sparky. <laughs> if you'd like one of our little pigs, just let us know on our DJ Studio page, Facebook. Uh, we even do custom paint jobs. If you have a design you'd like put on the side of your piggy. Um, we can do that as well. That one looks good. Get him over here with the rest of them. Wait a minute. I think I see a spot. No? No, he's good. Okay. Right, let's get this one. little touch up with the metallic. Get a little on his face, give him some character. I see a little bit of spots here through the, through the uh, between the legs. We're just going to touch it up with some of the blue. Make sure we've got nice even coverage. We also do custom pinatas. Um, we can build almost any character. Um, just let us know what it is you're looking for. We'll be more than happy to get you a pinata. It does take two weeks on the build for those, so make sure you get us uh, hit us up in plenty of time before the party. Don't forget to check out our paper mache videos so you can see how we built our little piglets. Lots of fun. And again, make sure you get all of the spots 
Don't leave any spots showing through of either the paper or the base coat. Like you want to make sure you get nice, even coverage. So that way when the clear coat goes on, it really makes the, the colors pop. They also make custom masks starting at about $20, um, all the way up to the elaborate. <laughs> if you can think it, we can build it. Just maybe only out of paper. <laughs> And we'll certainly paint them any way you like. Got a nice pearl sheen to it. It's so cute. Well, we're about halfway done with our little lot of piggies. They're all looking pretty good. Let's see what we can do with this guy. Go ahead and finish up the bottom half. Kind of looks like they painted the top half. Nothing on the bottom. <laughs> so I have to make sure we get it nice and nice and even layers. The little banks are quicker to paint, I guess. The big banks are easier to blend the colors in on and make different designs. The, the big ones obviously are 20. The little ones are only five. So I guess depending on what you're looking for, if you're planning on saving up a bunch of money, I'd get one of the big ones. <laughs> Purple looks awesome on this guy. Blend it in with the other colors. Any have any custom designs you'd like to send to us? Send it to our email address at drinksandjewelry420 at gmail.com. And um once we get your order, we'll let you know, and we'll probably shoot a video, hopefully tag you in it. But um, it only takes about a week or two to get custom orders completely finished and shipped, so certainly let us know what it is you'd like. No! <laughs> well, let him in, Sparky.
Make sure you check out our other videos. We, uh, we build masts and pinatas. We even have uh, instructionals on how to build these little piglets. Looks like we have a similar thing going on with this one, nothing underneath. So I vote on blue. So our studio mainly runs off of recycled uh, materials. So if you have any uh, paint you'd like to donate or any um, recyclables, whether they're made out of paper, cardboard, um, just about anything, plastic bottles, uh, feel free to donate them to the address that was on the screen and um, or come by and drop them off. We'll be happy to turn your trash or recyclables into beautiful works of art. He's gonna have a nice blue underbelly. <laughs> A little bit on his nose here. Tiny little tail. <laughs> Make sure you get the little tails from all angles. Sometimes it's hard to paint the smaller pieces. So a little bit of purple here. See if we can jazz him up a bit. The base coat was kind of pale, so he's gonna need a lot more colors. Put a little purple on the inside of his ears. Maybe a touch right there. Blend it in really well. If you have an idea for a custom paint job, make sure you hit us up on Facebook, DJ Studios. put the little dots back on there that they started with.
make sure you've got that even coverage. We don't want to have a base coat showing through once the clear coat. Add a little blue to his backside. He kind of looks like he's wearing pants. All right, we're gonna get his inside of his little ears. Maybe some on his nose. Jazz up the purple just a bit. Make sure it gets blended in really well. Nice and colorful, even coat, and just blend them together. There we go. Now he just had a few spots, so we're just going to do a quick touch up here. I like the way this one looks. Yeah, paint to recyclable donations. Um, you can send them to the address on the screen. Okay. That guy looks good.
We're on to our last little piggy. And he's mostly blue and purple, so we're just gonna make sure we get the spots covered really nice. Add a little bit of yellow here. Yeah. That's a nice contrast. Now a little bit of green. And just blend. Yeah, just a touch of it over here. A little bit on his bottom. Custom paint jobs are available if you message us on Facebook at DNJ Studios. Paint your pig any way you want. <laughs> Little touch of green here. The green and yellow blend so well together. Gives it more of a tie-dye look than just the blue and purple. Looks really cool. Let's get a little touch up on his ears. And a tad bit there on his face. His little nose could use some green. What do you guys think? So there's the last of them. Oh, I'm going to do a tad bit right here. I see a little spot. I think I'm just going to add the yellow to it. They all look pretty good.
about a touch of red on this one. Okay. His little tail. The tails are a little more difficult to paint. Make sure you get good coverage on the tails. All right, let me check to see if any of the other ones need touch-ups. Pretty cool. All righty, well, we are out of piggies for the day. So we'll see you next time.